Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Morgan here. Um, today, as I'm sure you probably read, that's why you click on the video. What? That's why you clicked on the video. This video is about me reverting this straight ish. It's not even really straight anymore. What is it? Um, hair into this. Um, back into my curly hair in case that it makes sense um, <laughs> but for real no um, as you guys have probably seen from my straight hair tutorial if you're subscribed to me you saw me straighten my hair when I mean it didn't look like this but it looked like this yeah so it's been through some things you know I'm in Zoom University right now, so you know, you work hard, so you you lose your hair. What am I talking about? Um, but anyways, long story short, I'm about to just revert my hair back to curly. So, I'm about to tell y'all how I do it, you know, um, you know, hopefully, perfectly, no heat damage, um, and then that's it whoa and then that's it um yeah so i'm about to just get in the shower you know do what i do show y'all how i do it you know tell you what i'm using and that's it but i'm about to just hop right in so hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up if you're excited to watch this and leave a comment if you feel so motivated to do so why does my m look like a a W for Wumbo. Well, it should be set to W for Wumbo. Patrick, I don't think Wumbo is a real word. Come on. You know, I Wumbo, you Wumbo, he, she, me, Wumbo. For Wumbo? <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm about to do this. Do this. So, yeah, I'm going to show you how it I'm about to show y'all what I'm gonna use first because it just gets messy I'm trying to show y'all everything. So, wait a minute. So, really, the most important thing to me that I use in my little routine is by far this saving grace right here. This Talia Wajib, um, like two step, like mask thing. Um, it's great for one, this is a black owned hair company. So if you're not hip to her, then get hip. But um, basically it starts with this like detox shampoo and it is made with tea tree oil and charcoal oil. Charcoal oil, what? It's made with tea tree oil and charcoal and it helps to detoxify your hair. And it feels so good y'all, it feels so minty and just refreshing and my hair is super dirty. Like it's probably going on three, four weeks now, which is terrible, but I've been stressed y'all and school's almost over. So <sighs> by the time y'all see this school will be over, but for me, online school for me will be over. But I'm just saying, like, I've just been stressed. I haven't had time to do my hair, which is part of the reason why I straightened it, so I didn't have to do it. So now I'm just owning up to my responsibilities and doing it. But anyway, back to this stuff. So, yeah, it comes with this little detox mask, right? I mean, detox shampoo. And then it has this moisture madness mask. This mask, oh my god. It is so freaking good. Like... And you would think that this isn't enough for your hair. No, it literally is enough. Like, just this one packet for my whole head of hair. Like, all of this can just use one of these packets. So, if you have less hair than me, you can literally probably save this and, like, you can get two uses out of it instead of just one, like me. Um, but... Yeah, no, this is really amazing, and basically, this is what I'm going to be mainly using. This is probably what I'm only going to use in the shower. This is all I'm going to use, and then I have my little, look, it's all rubbed off, y'all. I need a new one. Um, this goody hairbrush that I bought forever ago at Walgreens. Um, I mostly just finger detangle it, especially when I'm going from straight to curly because it's so much easier. Um, I need to buy a new one, though. 
If y'all have any recommendations of one I should buy, put that in the comments, please. Because I need a new um, brush thing. I don't like to use them all the time, but for curly hair, I just like to use a brush sometimes. Like, my hair is, like, extra tangled. So, yeah, these are my two things I'm going to use. The shampoo and moisture mask. Um, I'll leave the moisture mask on while I am shaving and washing my body or doing whatever I gotta do. Today I gotta shave my legs and my armpits. So it's gonna be on for a little longer. <laughs> but, um, and that's it. I'm about to just have a shower because I feel like I'm talking too much. So, I'll see you in the shower. Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just start finger detangling. So I'm just going to wet each section of my hair slowly and just finger detangle each little section until it feels completely smooth and detangled so that it's a lot quicker and easier for me as I move on to the next step. And I'm just gonna make sure my whole head is just wet and feels detangled so that I can move on to putting shampoo in. So now I'm just going in with the detox shampoo and I am using about half of the packet and I'm just using that in my head as my first shampoo and then I'm going to rinse that out and then I'm going to use the remainder of the packet to wash the rest of my hair. So now that I've shampooed my hair twice, I am now going to go in with the hair mask and this is basically my conditioner so I'm going to put it all throughout my hair. I'm using the whole entire packet and then I'm going to put my hair up and then I'm going to wash my body, shave, do whatever I need to do just to let it sit in my hair as long as possible and then I'm going to come back and rinse it out.
So now I'm just rinsing out the hair mask and I'm going to be finger detangling and using that little detangler brush I showed you guys earlier when I feel it's necessary. And then I'm just going to be wringing my hair out and putting it in my little turban hair towel thing and letting that soak up a lot of the water. And then I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to do my braid out. Okay, now onto the braid out. So first thing I'm doing is just sectioning off my hair. In my head, I know I'm gonna section it off two or three times. I'm gonna just work in sections. I'm starting at the very back of my neck, the nape, the bottom, you know, that area. <laughs> and I'm starting there and I'm just gonna section the rest off at the top. Then I'm gonna take a moisturizer. So tonight I'm using this Argon Oil Moisture Rich Hair Butter. This is one of my favorite moisturizers. It works really well. You only have to use a little bit at a time. It's just perfect for moments like these. So I'm using that, and then I'm just gonna make sure my hair is coated fully in this moisturizer. And then I'm gonna go in with this coconut oil by the OGX Organics brand. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on there, not too much, and then braid it up and then just twirl the end with my finger and that's it this is my whole braid out and i am sure to not put too much oil because when i do take them out i do put more oil on top of the braids and in my hands to eliminate frizz so that is why i don't use too much oil but that is literally it and i'm going to show you guys how i do a few of the braids and then i'm just gonna go straight to the end so you can see the final look
Okay guys, so all my braids are done. It took like 30 minutes. I really like make sure every like single braid was super super moisturized with that um, cream of nature stuff and then I went in with the coconut oil just to add some extra flair. I have eight braids. Yeah, eight. So like I never do this. Like I usually do like 10 to 12. It's so annoying. So I just decided to do less because it's late and I want to go to bed. But this little like hair in the back like it's like too short to go to braid. I don't want to like strain it and then it feels like tight so they're just back there doing what they want to do um so now the last step i'm gonna do is take my little thing of jamaican black castor oil and put some on my edges honey um just because i don't know i just feel like i should because i haven't done this in a long time and i don't want it to i mean i didn't make the braids too tight but I just don't know, I don't, you know, I'm gonna wear my hair in ponytails sometimes and just a little stressful on the edges. So we just wanna preserve them as long as we can, honey. And we are just going to apply the oil. I'm gonna apply it in the back to my kitchen. We love growth back there as well. Um, and then I think, I just thought about this, but I'm going to take my peppermint oil. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to apply a little bit on this little center part. And it'll just have that same tingly. I'm gonna put it like in between these parts a little bit. I'm gonna be extra careful because it comes out fast. Okay, so now my hair is just filled with all kinds of oils and everything. Um, and I'm ready for bed. So I'm about to go make myself some tea or something. Um, and then I'll put on a probably a scarf on the top part. Um, because I find that it helps it stay flat. And then I put I usually just tuck the braids like into a bonnet. And that's usually it um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um so this is it this is how i revert my hair back to curly um because i'm in quarantine these braids will probably stay in for a couple of days not gonna lie to y'all um <laughs> so yeah that's gonna be a bomb braid out in the house and that's it and it's cool but yeah so this is the end of the video if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you learned something if you whatever and yeah hit the subscribe button please i'm posting every sunday right now and yeah so you should just hop on the train hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment something um so yeah that's it I will see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, I don't know how to bow.